Hi, James. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I suppose you've got a nice long day ahead of you. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Not too bad. It's fun to talk. It's always, it always helps when you like the movie that you're talking about. That's true. <laughs> and, on that, and on that note, I thought it was so much fun. Oh, not thank you. Not for my audience, but, you know, I, I still loved it anyway. <laughs> oh, good. Well, there you go. Well, that's, 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 that's a positive. It is. Um, and it's actually really, it's quite non-stop from start to finish as well. Thankfully, I've not got kids, otherwise that would drive me nuts. Um, <laughs> I can imagine it was a lot of fun in the, in the recording studio, uh, uh, recording it. Yeah, I don't know that the recording process was as fast-paced as the movie is. Um, you know, we started about uh, a couple of years ago. So it, it is a, uh, it can be a long, tedious process. Um, if you're not having fun, thank goodness on this one, it was just a bunch of great people being silly. And, and um, uh, so it was, a, it was an enjoyable process for me. But uh, yeah, when, when you see the movie cut together, it's like, you know, it's turbocharged. <laughs> uh, like, wait, that's two, three years of work, you know, put into whatever, 80 minutes or however long the movie is. But it was a real, it was a real pleasure. I mean, I like doing voiceover work because you can roll out of bed, throw a baseball cap on and not worry about how you look or if you're blocking your, your co-star's light or, you know, what you're, what you're wearing. And, and you're, let, you're sort of less self-aware as to your appearance and more aware of what your voice is doing. And, and it's, I have a blast with it because you get in the room and it's a microphone and you. And it's like, what do you got? <laughs> and it allows me to kind of step back into my childhood and be silly and try things, you know, do a line a hundred different ways and, and um, you know, kind of explore you kind of, because it, because it, with voiceover work, it starts with the voice acting and then the animation comes after that. It, you're kind of in the, you know, in the, in the captain's seat of like what, what this thing ends up being or what the, what the character with the role ends up being. And you, and you get to get in the room and sort of flesh that out. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And there's also, um, there's a whole theme of family is forever and, you know, you should always stick together. But for what I got from it as well is that there's too much pressure put on kids these days. So, and, you know, and it forces them to grow up too quickly. Um, what was it about these f- films that, uh, themes that sold you on coming on board for the sequel? Well, I think one of the things you just mentioned, which is, you know, I, I, I had three kids, so I've experienced being a cool dad to being a not cool dad to being a cool dad again, to being, you know, just witnessing the pressures that they, that they have put on them at a young age. And, and um, as a parent, you know, no one wants to do wrong by their kid. They just, you want to protect them, but you also want to prepare them for life. And, and um, so having three children and three different age ranges, you know, I, I related to what Tim is going through in this movie with, you know, this idea that, Tabitha, his daughter is already, you know, kind of like this precocious adult. And he's, you know, trying to, in the most fun way, remind her to just, you know, the importance of just being a kid. And you're you're a kid for this amount of your life and you're an adult for this amount. It's like, you'll have plenty of time to have responsibilities and duties, Uh, you know, go, go, go play in the mud, go be a kid, go daydream. Um, So, and I think because Tim is a perpetual kid himself, um, you know, it saddens him to think that his daughter is already outgrowing him. <laughs> but I, I, I relate to all that because, you know, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the natural progression of things. You have to, you know, learn to let go and let your kids, you know, spread their own wings. But it's a, it's a bittersweet thing to experience it. Okay. And finally, uh, you're back as Prince Edward in Disenchanted next year. That must have not been for old. you either. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> a movie not for you either. <laughs> no, I'd love the first one. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, was that strange returning after ten years, and how did they uh, persuaded you to come back? Well, they persuaded me to come back by saying that it's actually happening. Um, <laughs> I think they <laughs> they threatened to to make the movie for fifteen years, and we kind of like it's like fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me um but you know because w- w- the movie came out in what 2007 or something like that 2006 2007 and it was a big hit and it was such a fun character to play 
And it's so rare that you get to be a part of a movie that just hits all the right notes and, and a formula that really works. And, um, and it did, it worked. But so I was, we were kind of surprised that they didn't jump in and make a sequel right away. So I, when they came around 15 years later, you know, like, you want to, do you want to do this? Like, yes, of course, but I'm, we're all also 15 years older, you know, and we're playing animated characters. <laughs> like, how does that work? Um, but I, to be honest, I had so much joy. Uh, it gave me so much joy playing that role. It was fun to step back into the costumes and, and that sort of, uh, you know, crazy fun prints. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You